Hi, today I'm going to show you how to become an X1 Executive Power user. If you're new to X1 or looking for a general overview of X1 Search 8, please watch the Intro to X1 Search 8, Search SharePoint Data, and Searching Outlook videos before continuing. Now, let's advance your X1 game and put your information to work for you. Google did such a great job with web search, most users assume that search begins and ends with a single search field, followed by a series of links. As a result, in-application search, such as built-in Outlook and Windows search, use a single search field, which hamstrings employees' ability to quickly find and act on their critical information. While we feel Google did a good job with curating the web's information, X1 remains the ultimate tool for searching your information, as X1 goes beyond a single search field, allowing you to quickly drill down to your desired result. Let's start with a problem. We retain information in many different ways, depending on the information type, whether something's an email, an Excel document, PowerPoint, or PDF. By reviewing refined searching using X1's column and column chooser, saving searches, implementing post-search actions, and finally X1's data source management and folder selection, you'll improve information management every day. While the general search field provides fast as you type search and follows Boolean commands, we unlock the true potential of X1 with refine columns. Notice how X1 displays results and highlights search hits. No matter if the search hit shows up in 2, the subject, or even the body of the email. Notice how I went from thousands of results to over 500 with just one search term. But very often, the single search term is not enough. Similar to the general search field, each refined field highlights matching search terms, except results are limited to that specific field. So if I enter knowledge base in the subject column, my results limit to only messages containing knowledge base in the email subject. In this example, let's enter article in the general search field. Now I've narrowed my results to all emails that contain the word article anywhere in the email and contain knowledge base in the subject heading. If necessary, I can further narrow down by date using the date drop-down menu, or simply typing it in. Please note, you aren't limited to adding information into the refine columns. You can enter keywords in the refine columns to subtract results as well. Let's say I'm looking for a particular presentation related to a client. I'm going to start by searching documents, and type my search knowledge base in the general search field. I remember that the document I'm looking for is not an Excel document, but rather a PowerPoint presentation. So in the document type or find column, I enter PowerPoint or PPT to limit results to PowerPoint presentations only. X1's preview pane allows me to see directly into the presentation, and the hit highlighting allows me to scroll to relevant terms using the plus and minus keys. Lastly, once you've entered all of your search criteria, if this is a search you think you'll continue to run in the future, be sure to save the search. And access it in the navigation pane. You can also add it to the favorites toolbar. Simply right click and choose add to favorites bar. This builds a dynamic search, so as no emails or files come in that fit the criteria you set, the search will automatically update with the new results. Before we move on to X1's post-search actions, let's take a quick look at the X1 column chooser. You can customize your columns to fit a workflow that's best for you. Access the column chooser by right-clicking on any of the columns, and select Choose Columns. Use the right arrows to add available columns, and the right arrow to remove. You can also change the position by using the up or down arrows. Select OK when you're satisfied. 
Next, let's discuss X1's post search actions. Directly above the preview pane, you will see application specific search options. For instance, above documents, you can open, open folder, copy to, move to, delete, or even send by email. Within email, you can open the email, reply, reply all, forward, delete, and more. Keep in mind that keyboard shortcuts can help you grab a series of emails or files to work on at once. For instance, I've been working on a project relating to our knowledge base. If someone wanted a quick update on our knowledge base project, I could quickly run the save search, then hold down control to select individually the presentations I need, or hold shift to select all. From here, I use the post search action send by email to attach all the documents to an email and send it to the rest of my team. The same principle applies to email. Assume I have a colleague that's creating a presentation for a potential customer and recalls that I have forwarded similar presentations in the past. Instead of recreating the PowerPoint from scratch, they can reach out to me and request the presentations. I can quickly limit my results to all the relevant PowerPoints I've attached and from the Attachments tab, search Knowledge Base. Remember, we're looking for PowerPoints, so I limit the attachment type. And I can send whatever attachments by email using the post search action. For a final search, I want to show you X1's SharePoint searching capability. When I run marketing as a search of our internal SharePoint site, you can see from the hit highlighting, I receive a list of documents containing the term marketing. I'm only interested in Word documents that contain the term marketing. So I type in Word in the document type refine column. Once I locate the result I'm looking for, I can use the checkout post search action to open the document in Word, make my changes, and save it for the rest of the team to see. Beyond searching and acting on your critical information, it's important to remember that you can build X1 to fit your workflow. For instance, over the course of your career, you've accumulated hundreds of different Outlook folders, but typically only search in some of them. X1 allows you to get extremely granular in selecting the folders to search. Begin by selecting Menu and navigate over to Data Sources to view your configurated data sources. At the bottom, notice available data sources that you can add to index to your existing X1. Under the Configure Data Sources, select the pencil icon to access the folders you wish to index. Since we're looking for Outlook folders, I'll select the pencil in the Outlook email. Clicking on the folder tree expands your options, and you know the folder is available for indexing when it's highlighted in green. Also from this menu, you can add or remove PST files. Upon making your selections, click OK, and the folders will be added to your X1 index during your next scheduled indexing cycle. To begin indexing immediately, select the Play button next to the Configure Data Source. Similarly, for files, you can dive into your folder structure and select all relevant folders for indexing. Please note the legend on the right-hand side as you can select folders for different levels of indexing. Now that we've reviewed refining searches, column selection, and indexing schedules, you are ready to be an X1 Power user. For more information on X1, please visit www.x1.com.